showing us his balancing skills. Let's see how I can do on my mini bike. <laughs> Come on, jump! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to smear your face into that. So I'm not even doing very well with two wheels. Let's just set that down okay. for a moment here okay. uh, because we're going to attempt the unicycle in just a second here. Who are we looking at? This is Sebastian and Christian. They're uh, they're from one of our wonderful families here at the circus from Argentina. You're looking at about five, six generations of circus family. Uh, they come from a family that practices traditional Argentina clowning, uh, 135 years of history. Again, this family itself, about five or six generations, five on the father and six on the mother's side. How many different families do you have taking part in this round of, of the Shrine Circus? I mean, after 251 years, you've accumulated a few and, and the very best. Absolutely. Um, I'd say this year we have about five or six uh, family units that travel with us, and, that's, and collectively that's about anywhere from 45 to 60 people on the circus whether it be concessionaires, circus stars, crew, support units to help us get the whole thing going down the road. All right, let's see if I can maybe get the hang of the unicycle. All right, Christian, how long, how long have you been doing it now? This is my second year on tour riding unicycles with my family and my brothers. But you said the first time that you were on stage you were what, like two? Two years old, I was dressed as a little clown with my dad. What did you think of that? That was pretty fun. What did you think of the crowd, everybody watching and cheering? Scary. Scary. What was the first stunt that they had you do when you were two years old? Because I'm thinking that's about the level that I'm at here. <laughs> uh, well, the first time when I was two years old was fall down. Oh, okay. To the little fall so my so the people can laugh. And we do a little skit with my with my dad. Okay, so come here. A little show me a, a, a comedical way to fall down. Well, there's this slap that everybody does. All right, what is it? There's a slap, so when there when there's a clown here that's mad at the other clown, there's this guy that does this. They stop here, so the other clown that's getting slapped does this. Okay. But down here, pretty quick, so it does the sound. So when I hear, it does that. Okay. And that's how the other clown falls down. All right. So, so you fall first, part. and then I'll fall. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that was very graceful. Okay, here we go. You're not going to slap me, though, right? You sure? Yes. Oh, you're sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure he'd like to, me making you get out of bed this early, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've mastered the slap, yeah. the fall, the unicycle. I'm avoiding it. That's a good look for you, Richard. Yeah, you like that. I think you should come out into the ring. Yeah, on I, I tried part. it, and I've almost hurt myself doing it before. It's kind of... <laughs> the, the, hey, look at that! You're doing better than I did. Hey, I did it. It's the first time I've ever done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So what's the difference between these two unicycles? Well, here's a little secret. The smaller is the easiest, the highest are the harder. So let's start me with the easiest. The smaller. So how do I get up? So yes, are you, I will need a hand. Are you a lefty or righty? I'm a righty. So how you do is put your, this pedal will always go down and this one will go up. Yep. So when you sit down, you put the little pedal right here and you push down. And then you put immediately this pedal up here, so then you start riding. Show me how it's done. Here, let me grab my unicycle. Oh, right you're doing here. the taller one. Yeah, you should probably try on that okay. one. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. All right, so this foot down. Yes, but remember, sit on the chair like this. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even sit on the chair, all right. You want to switch? No. That's a little too small. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Try her on this one. I think this one will work better. I don't know. You think so? All right, yeah. switch. Just rock it back. Okay, back. About right Put there. Put on. Yep. And then up will go. Yes. Can we you help just me? push down there and jump on this one. Okay, don't let me fall. One, oh. two, three. Ooh. Woo! 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 <laughs> All right. And there it is, ladies. You got it. You're natural. <laughs> You're better at the wheel, I have to tell you. <laughs> yeah. You just lie there. That is impressive, the core strength that it takes. Yes. And then now you can not only get up on this, but you can juggle? Uh, yeah, I can juggle more. He actually rides one without a seat, too. It's cool. Uh, we don't want to give away all the secrets, but he'll finish somewhere on a five-meter high unicycle. It's pretty amazing stuff. Jump up. So he's up on a five-meter high unicycle. Yep, he rides and one that's crooked and offset and all kinds of really cool stuff. It's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome little family act. It's, it's bicycling buffoonery is what I announce it as. And they come in, they have a good time. It's the two brothers and their father. And again, it's traditional Argentina clowning mixed with 
dazzling dexterity, unicycling, juggling, the whole nine yards. It just screams circus. You are an impressive family. And then we've got Sebastian over here, still just balancing. Nine years old. No big deal. And this is what they, I mean, this is how they hone their craft. They're, they, it's such a family affair here. They all grow up working side by side with mom and dad. Really cool stuff. All right, I will continue to wrap my head around or through in this case.